feeling good for the first round, you know, feeling ready, fit, healthy and, and ready to start off my 2019 campaign, uh, hopefully a little bit better than we did last year. Winter and off season has been really good for me this year. I spent a lot of time at home. Uh, I got a new house at home and just sort of me and my girlfriend getting into that and, and you know, just relaxing really. We spend so much time away during the season. It's important to, to relax and, and almost let your mind go free. And, and one good step for me was going to New Zealand this year. Um, you know, just gave me that flexibility to relax and switch off and, and also get some good training in on my, my GT bike there. And yeah, came back to Italy now and, and had a good strong pre-season and, and looking forward to getting the season going in Germany. Training for the season just depends really what time of year. Uh, the beginning part of the year we spend to, tend to spend a little bit more time on the bike um, and then during the season because riding the bike is quite tiresome uh, and especially with racing it sort of changes a little bit. Um, so we, I would say the vary between riding the bike is a lot greater in pre-season than, than during the season. Um, you know, and we try and do a massive volume of training pre-season and then just continue our fitness throughout the year. So the goal for 2019 again is to win the World Championship um, and that is really my only focus. The Italian Championship, I would like to win the Championship again, but, but really I can't let that sacrifice my preparation for the World Championship. So with this season I'm again focusing solely on, on the seven rounds of Enduro GP um, with these, some, a lot of the Italian Championships are sort of in good positions around the GP so it's not, not a huge problem um, and yeah maybe make some one-off races like Western Beach Race um, I think would be, would be cool and I'd love to do it and, and yeah just see how the season's going as to what, to what other races we do. The Italian Championship is, is really strong uh, more than ever I think this year with, with a lot of top teams, uh, riders, you know, competing there. So this year, the first round was a really good gauge to, to understand where everybody is. Um, you know, I think nobody left any cards sort of hidden. They were all on the table. So I think we we have a good gauge of who's going to be fast this year and, and, and you know, who isn't really. So, um, yeah, it was good. It was also good for me to, to go 2-1 there, um, you know, recorded the first win of 2019, which which I was a little bit shocked about, honestly. Um, I carried a little bit of fatigue coming in from, from my training plan. And, um, you know, the plan was literally just to go there and, and ride the bike, uh, our new race bike, and sort of just see how it was in the race. And um, yeah, really, really happy to, to come away with a 2-1 and get some good, good experience, good sort of feelings for the bike. And, and yeah, this all helps in the preparation for Germany. The first round of Italian Championship gave us a good understanding of, of the guys who have changed teams, um, where they're at. Obviously, they're, they're highly motivated with changing teams, you know, like I say, new motivation. And, and it was good to almost sort of stamp my authority and say, you know, like, OK, I'm on the same team, same bike, but I'm still fast. And um, yeah, I'm re feeling really good about the season. Um, you know, I've like I say, I think I've, I've shown what I'm capable of when I'm not uh, no way near 100%. So I'm looking forward to, to getting close to that and, and coming into Germany swinging. There's some guys that are, are obviously stepped up their game a little bit coming into this year. But um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good and, and looking forward to, to racing everyone. There's no particular guy I'm sort of worried about as such. It's more, you know, if I can ride how I know I can ride, then, you know, hopefully this year will be good again. We did a lot of development at the end of last season on, on the engine, especially um, you know, the guys at Beta did an awesome job at, you know, giving me some new material to test. And, and we come up with a really good uh, solution with the engine, which increased torque quite a lot. So uh, we're feeling really good about the engine itself. Um, we're on the new shock from from ZF now, which is which is good. We spent a good a good few sort of days, you know, changing setup and, and just testing where we're at with that. and. Yeah, ultimately after the first GP, uh, first Italian Championship round, we're, we're feeling good. We ironed out a lot of the, the pre-season creases really that you get from, from understanding the bike in a race situation and, and yeah, feeling comfortable. Yeah, so this early on in the season, I haven't really started to focus too much on the particular aspects of my riding. It's basically just about getting as much bike time as I can and, and at a high intensity, you know, after spending a good two, three months of being relaxed at the end of, of last season. It's important now just to, to get those hours in on the bike and, um, and hopefully we can, like I say, have a good, a good first round of the GP and, and sort of understand if there's any weaknesses we need to work on and, and then we've got a good few weeks then before Spain. Um, so yeah, at the moment it's purely just getting hours on the bike. 
So as a whole, I'm looking forward to the whole Enduro GP season. Um, you know, we, we're starting off in Germany. Germany's been really good to me in the past two years and, and it's really a good Enduro race. So I'm really looking forward to, to kicking off the season there. Spain and Portugal will be good. We're going back to the same, the same place we did in um, last year, so in Spain. And I think Portugal will be tough as well. Um, you know, we've got a new format of the race in Corsica, which will be good. I spent a lot of time there last season, pre-season with um, Christoph, my teammate, training there. Um, and then Italy will be a good classic enduro. Czech Republic will be really good. I raced the European there in 2014, so that is a really, really good enduro race. Um, and then finish in France. France is always good and um, it should be a really good season. With the addition of the new World Cup class, I think it's only good for the, for the Enduro GP Championship. It's, you know, it helps get a few more riders there and, and just you know, gives an opportunity to those guys that are um, maybe a little older or you know, are just coming into the sport to, so they don't have to race the full championship. Um, you know, I, like I say, I think it's always good to have more riders there, especially, and, and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how it progresses.